wondered why some men choose Wonder Bread women over you. And when I say Wonder Bread, I'm just talking about girls who are a bit more plain, a bit more basic, average. And you, on the other hand, are like a divine French croissant and you're confused. You're like, I don't get it. Why are you going for Wonder Bread when I'm right here? There are three reasons why this happens and I'm gonna tell you exactly what they are. Starting with reason number one, Wonder Bread is cheaper, okay? You get a lot more value for basically half the price of a croissant. And even though some men might appreciate the way you look, they are gonna choose Wonder Bread because she doesn't require as much money or time to impress. Which brings me to reason number two, Wonder Bread will change herself for a man, a croissant will not, okay? Wonder Bread will become a grilled cheese, an avocado toast, a PB&J, any day of the week, depending on what he wants. A croissant, on the other hand, it's kind of like take it or leave it, as in you might not be as willing to compromise or change your lifestyle for a guy. And the third reason is Wonder Bread is less maintenance, okay? Wonder Bread, you break it apart, there are no crumbs. With a croissant, a lot of crumbs, and some guys honestly don't want to deal with it. But here's the thing, the people that like croissants love croissants, and they don't even look at Wonder Bread. So don't try to change yourself, but instead embrace all of your flaky French layers because the right person is going to adore them. Ay, Dios mío. I can't believe she made this video because all she did was point out the things that men shouldn't look for. And those are all the things she tried to describe. And let me give you an example. So one of the things she said was um, breadcrumb girls are cheaper. Okay, so why would a guy want to be with a girl who cares more about a $60,000 date or a $20,000 ring or, you know, materialistic things than a girl who sees value in other things and cares more about love? Exactly. Now, you're saying the breadcrumb girl will just sit there and, you know, change for you, be a French toast, be an avocado, whatever. No, those women are smart. Those women know how to adapt. Those women are adjustable into any situation they're in. Those are smart women. And the next thing that you said is they're less maintenance. Um, while the other women are left with crumbs to pick up everywhere. So you're just saying you're intolerable, that you're hard to deal with. Like I said, why would men now want to go to a croissant when you just said Wonder Bread's the best? Come on now, baby. Now, this next part. <sighs> Guys, please understand this. These are just videos for entertainment and obviously to talk about the topic in the video. I have no shade, no hate towards any of these girls, but you know I got to be sarcastic before I end my video. But think about this. Women like her don't understand this. They have this croissant mindset that they're up here and they're high value and all that because of the way that they look or, you know, whatever. That's fine. You're allowed to think that. But please understand, you're teaching women this. You're a women's coach or dating coach, like she says on her profile. You're teaching these women that they're tens and that guys who pick other women, it's because they're not you. No, there are just some things some women have to offer that you don't. And that's okay. You might not have been compatible. But I will say this. Girls who are breadcrumbs suck dick, throw it down. Down, love their man and give their man a voice croissants are uppity and uptight